The time has finally come to commission the EI system. To begin, open the app, log in, and touch the plus sign at the top right corner of the screen. This will add a new system to your login. Give the system a name and enter the planned turn-on date. Setting a date in the future will automatically enable the system to go live on that date. Next, use the phone's location service to automatically enter the site location or tap Edit to manually enter the address. Tap Create. The system has now been created and you will be brought to the System Commissioning Dashboard. Notice the System Info selection has a green check mark indicating that section is complete, but you can come back to this screen to change any of the information at any time. Now tap Select Equipment. This is where you will enter the details of the inverter, PD modules, and other equipment installed in the system. The first thing the EI app will do is attempt to connect to the internal Cloud Connect Advanced inside the EI inverter via Bluetooth. Allow Bluetooth operation on your device for this step. Once found, the CCA icon will appear along with its serial number. The EI app will now automatically try to locate the EI inverter. Once found, its icon and serial number will appear on screen. This is the EI setup screen that indicates connectivity and equipment status for all EI components. Notice the internet status has a yellow exclamation point next to online, indicating the absence of internet connection. This is normal since we have not set that connection up. So let's do that now. Tap internet settings at the top of the menu to begin. There are two methods for internet connectivity, Wi-Fi and a hardwired ethernet cable. If the Wi-Fi signal is not strong enough for this step, then you may need to add Wi-Fi signal boosters or repeaters or run an Ethernet cable from the customer's router to the EI inverter. We will continue with the Wi-Fi option. Swipe down to scan for local area networks. Select the customer's network and log in. Notice the green check mark next to online indicating an internet connection. Tap on inverter settings to continue. Now tap view details. Tap edit to begin entering PV module information. You will enter this data for each string connected to the EI inverter. Enter the make and model of the PV modules, the number of modules on each string, and each MPPT terminal in the EI inverter the string is connected to. Tap Save when complete. You will be brought back to the EI setup screen. Now tap Edit to enter the grid information. Select the grid code from the drop-down menu appropriate for your utility. Enter the site grid voltage either 208 or 240. Enter the advanced options if necessary. Most of the time these will be optional. Tap Done to return to the EI setup screen. Now it is time to set up the battery, ATS, and smart meter. Tap Battery and Meter Settings. Enable the energy meter by tapping on the button. A message will pop up indicating the warranty codes have not been scanned for the associated devices. Touch each of the blue scan barcode for warranty selections and use the device's camera to scan the barcode on the side of each piece of equipment. You can also scan the barcodes on the side of the shipping boxes. This will come in handy when you need to enter the battery cell codes since they will already be installed at this point. Tap Done when complete. Clicking on the three dots on the top right corner of the screen will bring up a real-time status display of all EI equipment. 
tap done to return to the EI setup screen. Now it is time to enter the TS4O devices into the system. Tap the back arrow until you are at the commissioning dashboard. Next, tap configure layout. This grid is the layout canvas. On the bottom of the screen are the EI devices. You will tap and then position each device on the layout canvas. First, let's go over the icons on the top of the site layout canvas. The pointer tool allows you to move objects once they have been placed on the canvas. The move tool allows you to move the canvas. This is the undo tool and it will undo the last change to the canvas. The line tool allows you to draw lines on the canvas to enhance the site layout. The text tool enables annotation. To begin, tap the place option. Next, touch the inverter icon at the bottom of the screen and then tap anywhere on the canvas to place. Select the pointer on the toolbar to move the icons after they have been placed. Now comes the fun part. There are two ways to place the PV modules on the canvas. You can tap the PV module icon at the bottom of the screen and place each one individually. Or you can tap the PV module icon and then on the canvas, touch, hold, and drag the box to place entire strings of modules. If you start to run out of room on the canvas, use the magnifying tool on the toolbar to adjust the grid zoom. It is highly recommended that the PV module placement mirror the actual location at the installation site. It will serve as a map for future maintenance and troubleshooting. Once all modules are placed, it is time to add the Tygo TS4s. There are two methods for TS4 entry. Regardless of which method, you will need the stickers that were placed on the site layout sheet or cardboard. The fastest and easiest method is to scan each sticker using the smartphone camera. Tap on the module, select the barcode icon at the bottom of the screen, and then hold the camera over the corresponding TS4 sticker on the sticker sheet. You can change the serial numbers at any time by tapping the trash can icon and re-entering or rescanning the serial number. Once you are done with this step, tap the back arrow at the top of the screen to return to the commissioning menu. Notice that the configure layout option has a green check mark. Now we are in the final stages of commissioning. This last phase is called discovery and is identified at the top of the screen. During this phase, the CCA queries the Tygo server for the configuration file to begin the process of searching for each TS4 entered in the previous steps. This query and reception of the file can take some time, but is usually complete in a few minutes depending on network quality. A message will appear stating discovery will run in the background. It is now safe to close the app. You can log back in to check on discovery progress at any time. When discovery is complete, you will see all PV modules detected by the system. If you are missing modules, rerun discovery. Tap the back arrow until you reach the commissioning menu. Now we must add users to the system so that they can view the system on the EI app and EI portal. Tap system access on the commissioning menu. Now tap the plus sign. Enter the email address and name of the site owner or other users in your company. This step is optional and can be entered or edited at any time. Saving the information will send an invitation email to set up and view their commission system or add them to the system if they are an existing user. And that's it! You have now commissioned your system and can now view it at any time, anywhere in the world using the Tygo EI app or EI portal.